Hey everyone, I am finally back with another Gunpla video and today I'm gonna to show you a cheap and easy way to make custom decals for your model kits. Now I originally saw this technique on the Craftsman's YouTube channel. I'll put a link to the video down below so that you can check it out. But I thought it would be cool to try this technique on a Gundam model kit instead of just, you know, on wood blocks and um, Lego figurines. Now I know a lot of people say that the best quality decals you can get are water slides. I prefer rub-ons myself just because even if you apply water slide decals perfectly, you're still going to get that really fine line around it where the clear part is. Um, whereas with the rub-on ones, it's, you know, you just get the ink. And that's one of the reasons that I love this technique so much is that you are really just transferring ink from a printed piece of paper onto your model kit. So what you're gonna need for this technique, you can pick up at any office supply store or arts and crafts store. You might actually have to go to both in order to get everything. But first you're going to need label paper. This is what we're gonna be printing our decals on. You're not actually going to be printing onto the labels. You're going to be printing onto the uh, slick surface on the back. Now my advice here is to go cheap because um, some of the more expensive brands like the Avery ones have uh, perforated backsides to make it easier to peel the labels off. That's gonna mess up your prints. Now, obviously you see I went with Avery here and uh, you can even see the crease of the perforation, but you know, we're just gonna work around it and um, you know, I'm gonna be cutting these guys up anyway. But a uh, cool point of interest is these are actually reusable if you do not cut them up. Uh, I think it's, you're gonna have a hard time transferring it onto the model kit if you don't cut it out, but you know, it's just an added feature. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is a transfer medium like Mod Podge or some kind of glue. Uh, Craftsman recommends the Liquitex Gloss Heavy Gel. Um, I like it. Uh, I will say that you use it kind of sparingly because you know, you're only working with like a less than half inch space of uh, decal on your kit. And finally, you're going to need a brush to apply your transfer medium. Now, slight disclaimer, this technique only works with laser printers that I'm aware of. Um, if you want to see me try it on an inkjet printer, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you want to try it, let me know how it went for you. And of course, the other downside to this technique is that because you don't have white ink in the printer, you can really only transfer onto light or white colored plastics. So most Federation suits would be fine, but most Xeon suits are... Now, that said, there is a company out there called Ghost, and they make toner cartridges with white toner in them. Uh, they're designed to be put in place of the black toner, and so anything black in your screen will show up white on the paper. Um, as of recording this video, they don't have a cartridge that fits my printer, but if you have an HP, I believe, is the printer they support, then I will put a link in the description to their website so that you can pick up a cartridge, and you'd be set for making decals for any color mobile suit. Now I'm going to be using a bunch of decals from Roku. I will put a link down in the description to his website. He's got decals from just about every Gundam series and I'm putting them together on a contact sheet and I'll make that contact sheet available for you. It's really just got like a bunch of warning decals and a bunch of uh, universal century mobile suit type stuff. But I highly advise you to check out his site and you know, maybe just get inspired, make your own decals. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you're going to want to do before you print. For one, you're going to want to prepare your artwork by flipping it horizontally because when you transfer it onto the part, it's going to be a mirror image, so you want to make sure that it's printed backwards. Now you're also going to want to go into your print settings, uh, select your paper settings, and make sure that you are printing on glossy paper. Now you might get this little pop-up warning that says that you should use the manual tray instead of just loading the paper into the regular feeder tray. And if you do get this warning, definitely do that. And this is just gonna make sure that you have the best possible print quality. So let's print it. All right, so we've got our HGUC GM command. Let's uh, go ahead and take him apart so that we have a little easier workspace. I'm thinking one of these Earth Federation Space Forces. Decals will look good. Nope. 
All right, now we're gonna just eyeball the position a little bit. Uh -huh. Oh no, some rubbed off. Now, like I mentioned, we're only going to apply a very thin coat of this. In fact, I'm going to try and scrape some of this off. Yeah, we really don't need that much. Now you're not going to be able to move this around like you can with a uh, water slide so you really have to get your placement perfect. And as if to prove that this still works on uh, curved surfaces, looks like it came off on my thumb. Not too bad right there. Now, if you do end up using too much glue, it's not the end of the world. You're just going to want to go at, go in after the fact and, you know, kind of scrape off any of that residue. It's water soluble, so that makes it kind of easy. But, uh, you know, if you just use your craft knife like this and I mean, there's nothing on this one. But if you do have any leftover residue or anything like that, it's easy enough to scrape off.
So there you have it, super fast, super cheap, super easy. And uh, you'll probably get better results from um, water slide decals or press on decals, but for the money, I think that the results are pretty dang good. And you know, if I'm gonna be weathering this kit anyway, I kind of like the distressed look of these decals. It's kind of like, you know, the paint chipping. So it kind of takes a step out of the weathering process for me, which is pretty cool. Now that said, before you handle this guy too much or start weathering him, you are gonna wanna hit him with a top coat. Uh, I prefer a matte finish myself. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please drop a like, leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, I will catch you guys later.